In this video I'm going to show you how to do a rough architectural sketch in Blender and the first thing that we we'll want to do is go to the uh, properties scene and change it from none to imperial. Um, typically it's on the Blender unit so it's just a magic number that you can decide is anything. So if we put it on Imperial, then everything's going to be in feet and inches, and where I live, that's typically how uh, people measure things. So uh, Shift A to add, we're going to do a default plane, and we can just scale the dimensions to whatever size we want. So let's say we want to do uh, a 30 by 30 little home so that's 900 square feet maybe make the material and that'll just kind of be a base material and shift uh, G and then Z just so that it's kind of the foundation and then we can put um, other floors and stuff on top of that. Alright, so now maybe we have a little room and let's make it a bedroom. Alright, and I'm gonna press 7, go to the top view and grab and that seems about okay. And you know what? Maybe this will this house will be a two two. So maybe I'll do that. Um, it's rough. Uh, so we'll do another plane, and we'll make it a bathroom. And so typical bathroom dimensions are five by eight for like I don't know something you'd get in an apartment building and uh, holding control while rotating will snap it to a reasonable dimension and so instead of um, stopping there you can see how that there's some space that uh, would be here otherwise maybe lost space but you know washer and dryer could go right there too and uh, now we wonder, okay, well, how's the bathroom going to work? Maybe uh, we do a cube. So the tub might be uh, five feet by uh, maybe 16 inches, uh, maybe 20 inches deep. And if if you're uncertain about these measurements, you can always go and measure your own. Um, I feel like I measured mine recently, and it was something like this. So I'm just going to assume that's the case, for simplicity's sake. And there we go. X to snap it to that dimension. Oh, also we can do 5 to do like a tour top down. And you can see that I'm a little bit off aligned, but you know, it's it's rough anyway. Um, so let's see, do a washer and dryer room. Um, I mean, that, that probably will be this full space. So I'm just going to multiply, uh, get five there. And uh, actually, I should do five here. And since there is 12, oh, actually, that looks just about right. And then maybe, oh, and so you wonder why there's a space here. I'm just leaving that space because I'm considering it walls. Because if you design um, a house and then there's no room for walls, um, the walls just eat into the room. So, I mean, you could do it either way. We could do a kitchen. Maybe we just do cabinets and we leave the floor like this concrete floor and maybe these are just rugs or something. You know, super economical. All right, so I had to switch back into the orthographic view. 
Now we're gonna go into a the array and we'll here we go. And the this will be essentially kitchen cabinets. And we're gonna do a little state uh, space just for like detail. Um, uh, let's see. Now the space wouldn't really be there. It's just kind of uh, a slight embellishment. I'm gonna go in here and say change to face select and then I'm gonna do front view and uh, E extrude that and then S size it down and top view E extrude that again and you know that that looks a lot more like cabinets uh, potentially one of them is a sink I don't think I'm gonna go to that level of detail um, I'm just gonna copy this uh, rotate it move it down um, G the corner one's a little bit awkward you know maybe we don't need that many in that direction um, alright just have to redesign that G Y yeah good enough if you can see the tub felt short because it's actually going through the floor so G Z to grab that up and now that looks a lot better um, probably grab it a little bit closer to the edge granted maybe the tub needs to be a little bit thicker um, I don't quite remember so we're gonna do another one and that's going to be the toilet Alright, I'm going into wireframe mode because uh, it's kind of hard to tell in this view when there's no shading or anything. Shift Z to scale it down on everything except for the Z axis. Uh, size and then Y because I think this is going to be the back of the toilet. And then... I'm gonna create another cube. Grab this over here. GX SX Shift D to duplicate. Uh, Shift X. Uh, Shift Y. Um, Shift Z. G, G Z. This is going to be a sink. Um, S G. Maybe relatively small. I don't know. That seems like a decent size. Um, uh, extrude again. Uh, G. Maybe do a loop cut. Um, opposite direction that wow that looks a lot more toilet shaped than, than I thought it would all right yeah wow hey I might try that again sometime um, oh we need to do a little divot in the tub so tab to edit mode that looks like a tub if we do this GX so we'll just do this by hand. Here we go. G X. Alright. Now Now 
down there are two reasonably sized closets and maybe to show our closet we want to make uh, some clothes and so and and clothes are I want to say they're about 18 inches so we'll just do 18 inches I mean you can go measure it if you don't believe me um, but let's see array modifier um, and we're gonna space that apart you know what that's too blocky for the clothes so S X and then now they're too close we're gonna want more of them all right and then we're gonna do another array modifier and we're gonna do that in the other direction so uh, relative offset zero all right that seems fine GZ um, hey you know what we could probably just uh, do one more array modifier and this one will be on the z-axis so two or maybe z we could have just changed that z but um, for whatever reason I want a positive number we need some doors uh, let's see and we need some windows you depending on how thick you want your walls it might make sense to go a little bit thicker uh, so six inch instead of four inch uh, if you live in a cold climate you might even want to do double studded walls so that's two four inch walls with a gap in between and the gap prevents the thermal bridging so we're gonna do two six inch wide and two inches deep and so that's one stud and we're gonna do this uh, not eight feet high because that is a high door um, we're gonna do that like 7.5 feet and then we have to bring it up through the floor G Y rotate G Y we'll, we'll make the interior of the shell so right along the outside is all wall and then uh, they're about let's do three feet so that seems about reasonable now I typically like to put a buffer of closet along the wall of the living spaces just so it's quieter for people who are trying to sleep I'm just gonna extend it out like that there we go I'm just gonna duplicate this whole thing and rotate it and 